Hello there, welcome to another edition of In Case You Missed It, a social media show where we cover all the events that we covered here on your TV chat in the month of January, and we dabble a little into the world of Facebook and see some of those amazing organizations that make Chatham Kent what it is. And you're probably wondering, how do I script this? How, how do I present myself on here? Sometimes it's a lot up here, but sometimes it's a lot down here. And I know a lot of people do public speaking. So I'm very, uh, very excited to have here Darlene Workman from Chatham Kent Toastmasters. You're probably saying to yourself, is she making toast? And we've talked about that. She makes this <laughs> joke. But uh, yeah, on the screen here, we have Toastmasters International, but we're talking about the Chatham chapter of Chatham Kent Toastmasters. So Darlene, thank you very much for coming on the show. I'm happy to be here. So a lot of people are saying, you know, I do public speaking. I started all the way from elementary school when you do your first speech in front of, you know, your class. So let's talk about, you know, when you first start there to, you know, when you grow up and you have to do that big, you know, big keynote presentation. What is Toastmasters? Toastmasters is an international organization whereby people help each other to improve their public speaking and leadership skills. There's actually a leadership component within the Toastmaster program. But as you know, public speaking can be a horrific experience for some people. Mm -hmm. There are those who enjoy it, who actually enjoy the challenge. But we're there to help that other person, the one that is terrified of being in front of an audience, the person who shakes when the boss asks them their first question. Sure. And we have an organization that is built on self-support, immediate feedback. You have opportunities to not only become a better speaker, but you learn how to chair a meeting. Okay. What is the proper etiquette within being, being the chairperson of a meeting? We have an executive group that help the members meet their goals, whether it be to become a better speaker, become a comedian. We actually have a current That's member great. who is working at being a comedian. So how long has the Chatham Kent chapter been around for? We have been here for 14 years. Okay. We currently have 16 members and looking to grow our club. As always, we welcome visitors at every meeting mm -hmm. and we welcome new members. The 16, sorry, 14 years that we've been going, we have had members ranging from city councilmen to entrepreneurs, local business people, educators, doctors, and just the average Joe, yep. students, seniors. Some people use this as a social networking opportunity. So you, you mentioned the word social networking, which mm -hmm. is the big word in all corporations. Um, and, and the reason why, when I do my big Facebook search looking for all these groups, I thought public speaking, social media. Mm -hmm. So how important is gaining those that skill of public speaking to the social media world. It, it's, yeah. it's up here, but you're also up here. How important is it? It's immeasurable. As a consumer, if I am watching someone, whether it be on television, whether it be on the internet, and they're not impacting me with what they're saying, how they're saying it, I'm turning the channel. Sure. Right? As a consumer. Therefore, as a business person, I want to make sure that that consumer is captivated by what I have to say or how I'm saying it. It's very important. The club exists within an area. The area is all of Chatham, Kent, and Windsor, so okay. we have more than one club in our area. Each area then rolls up through to a division and a district. And at the district level, two times a year, we have a conference. It's an overnight conference. We, we have a speech contest oh, in which so we cool. represent yeah. those who are really out there and, and looking to improve themselves and, and have that little bit of a competitive bug. We give them that opportunity. But those conferences also allow us to present workshops. And workshops can be a, a myriad of subjects, mm -hmm. not just re re related to communication. That's great. But I enjoy teaching the mentorship workshop because I enjoy mentoring. That's To me, that's one of the things I enjoy most about being a Toastmaster. That's great. And the, the fact that it's, it's Toastmaster, it sounds like such a cool test. Like, what are you? I am a Toastmaster and I'm I here am. to help you out, to prepare you for, you know, whether you are preparing for a speech, whether you're preparing to 
get your product out there. And that's the thing. I see so many online ads, and you mentioned, you know, whether it's TV, radio, Facebook, whether they're selling essential oils, whether they're selling photography. Um, from a Toastmasters point of view, what's one little tidbit of information you can give our viewers out there to kind of say, you know, I need to summon my tribe or, you know, get that following? What, mm -hmm. is, what is a good way to use some of those public speaking skills from here to here to really, you know, make one stand out? The language that you use is really important. One of the things that we learn at Toastmasters is um is not a word. So is a word that is overused just and incorrectly used. The big words that we like to use are not necessarily the best ones to use. Interesting. Keep it simple. Make sure that the language you're using doesn't require the listener to open a dictionary, right? And the other thing is to make sure, even if the audience is not right in front of you, if it's on social media, make sure you're making eye contact with the person in front of Absolutely. you. It's very important. I think that eye contact is what gives you credibility. Okay. Yep. Right? Makes the audience, it draws them in. It gives you that confidence. Absolutely. Absolutely. How does one join up in a Toastmaster session? If you want to become a member of Toastmasters or you just want to come out and see what we're all about, we hold our meetings at the ethanol plant, the Greenfield Ethanol plant at the corner of Bloomfield and Richmond. Okay. Yeah. They have graciously uh, donated their, uh, their boardroom to us for use as, as part of their community outreach. That's great. And they allow us to come in there. The meetings run from 6.30 till 8 every Monday, except for holiday Mondays, of course. You know, we have to enjoy those holidays Absolutely. when we get them. But uh, as a guest, you can come in to any meeting at any time. Watch a meeting from start to finish. See what we're doing and uh, pick up some material. We definitely have some brochures that we'll talk about what we have to offer, what the programs are. And right now is actually a really exciting time at Toastmasters because after many, many, many years, they've launched a brand new program. Okay. And it's an online program. We used to get manuals in the mail that mm -hmm. we would read and they would talk about the, the, what your goal is in this speech. Your goal might be just to introduce yourself. Your goal in this speech is to incorporate body language into your presentation vocal variety and so on. But their new program that they've launched is all accessible online. Okay. And it's really streamlined to the individual goal of the, the member. If you're looking to work in media, there is a program that is specifically designed to help you work through becoming a media mogul, whether you want to work behind the scenes, in front of the camera, on the radio, all of those different things are available to you in a specific streamlined program, That's which we never had so before. And the fact that we're sitting here in a media outlet right now, <laughs> Um, preparing for an interview like that and that's that's so cool that these services are available mm -hmm. in Chatham Kent sounds like you give all these great tools and opportunities for we the public do. and I hoping that you know uh, people will check out the Toastmasters International and Chatham this is how I found it uh, ladies and gents you go on Facebook type in Chatham Kent Toastmasters you can send a message on there and get your get your Facebook get your social media presence out there it sounds like a great organization darling thank you so much for coming on the show and uh, giving me a couple more more pointers on how I can uh, produce, <laughs> conduct some of my interviews. So that's uh, great. So thank you very much. Well, thank you very much, Eric. It was a pleasure to be there here. There you go. Now, Chatham Kent, in case you missed it, let's look at a couple of events that we've uh, checked out here in the month of January. Rebecca Reimer's got another Your Sports interview. And of course, our uh, health and wellness guru, Steve, uh, Steve Bottrell, has another great guest to talk about pandas. We'll see you next month for another episode of In Case You Missed It.